In this video, we are diving into the fascinating story behind the creation of a Git, the version control system that revolutionized the software development forever. So our journey begins in the 2000, a uh, Linux kernel project was going on. And at that time, that project was completely handled by the Linux store. He used to manage the projects manually. Developers sent the patches, which Linus review and then integrate. This was a cumbersome process, which has to change. And that's where we had a new entry of a tool called BitKeeper in the 2002. So developers decided to adapt the BitKeeper. It was a distributed version control system that was created by Larry McKeough. BitKeeper allowed developers to have their own repository facilitate the easier and most efficient collaboration of that time. And it was going perfectly well. Then this controversy happened. Despite its benefits, BitKeeper was controversial due to its restrictive license. It was free for open source project, but users couldn't contribute to the competing tools. This didn't sit well with the open source community, including the figures like the Richard Stallman. So this has always been a problem that we often see with the open source project. BitKeeper was doing fantastic, but it was limited in a sense that you cannot customize the BitKeeper because it was a proprietary tool. It has a license associated with it. And that's where at one point we had a breaking point. And it happened in 2005 where the situation escalated when this Australian engineer, he decided to reverse engineer the things and make the customization into it, which actually violated the BitKeeper's license, leading Larry McCoy to revoke the free version of the Linux community. And what a result of it, we had that BitKeeper was no more free. Now, a uh, Linux kernel project was in a deep, deep trouble because their entire dependency was on the BitKeeper for their version control system and managing a, such a huge project without any version control system. It was not a simple job. And uh, after this decision of the BitKeeper no longer being a free, it was a big hit for the Linux kernel project. And that's where Linus Storwall decided to take action. He decided to create his own version control system. So on April 6, 2005, he announced his plan, make an alternative to BitKeeper that aimed to develop the system that was fast, efficient and suited to the needs of the Linux kernel project. And finally, we had the birth of Git. So within the days, Linus released the first version of a Git. Initially, Git was simple content addressable file system focusing on the speed and efficiency. It used a unique approach with its data structure and hashing to manage the changes. And then eventually it kept on growing to the Git that we know today. And today the impact of Git is so much. It has a tremendous success. It allowed developers to work offline, manage a repository, merge changes efficiently, community quickly adapted it. And today around 87 percentage of the developers are using Git as their version control system according to a Stack Overflow developer survey. GitHub is the largest Git-based platform host over the 200 million repository. That's a humongous success. And from that, Git has changed the landscape of the software development forever. It is showcasing a massive scale ongoing development currently going with the project. It is favored for its performance, distributed nature and the powerful branching and merging capabilities. So this was just a quick history about a Git that many of us may know or may not know. If you like my content, then Subscribing to my channel is a really good way to show a support and thank you for watching this video.